All right, today we're going to talk about how to make a row and column system using CSS Flexbox. So as you can see, we've got um, two columns here. One of them is of size 5 and one of them is of size 3. That's going to add up to 8. We're going to divide it up into 8 sections. Um, and then if we resize our page, it'll eventually stack the columns on top of each other. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, first thing to notice is that we're going to have a row div outside of a column div. And even if we don't have like multiple columns, we're still going to put column divs in there. So you can have like a single column, you can have double columns, you can have triple columns, you can have columns that are of specific size like I've demonstrated down here. Um, let's get into it. So uh, make a new REPL, call it flex system. It's a system, you know using Flexbox to create rows and columns. And let's go ahead and add some HTML here in the body. So we're going to make a div tag with class row. And then for now, let's make two other div tags with class col for column. Um, we'll just say text one and then copy and paste and text two for the other one. Now, in our CSS, um, we're going to be using CSS classes for all of this. That way, anywhere we need a row, we can add class row. And anywhere we need a column, we can add class column. So we'll do dot row. And then uh, we need to have display flex and flex direction row. And we're also going to have flex wrap wrap. That means if we end up, you know, if our columns end up getting too big, they're going to wrap to the next line instead of just overflowing off the page. Um, and let's go ahead and add a column class, col. For now, we'll just have that say flex1. That means it's going to take up an equal amount of space. So like in this picture, two columns are going to take up 50%, three columns are going to take up 33%, etc. So if you hit run, you can see our text show up right there pretty good okay um let's put uh let's put a couple other things in here in our html so let's make another one of these rows by copying and pasting um, we're gonna make it so we can specify up to um, eight different um spots for a column um so you can like divide it up into two and six or two, four, two, or something like that. Um, anyway, we're going to have classes that go column one all the way up to eight. Um, and you can use those to make uh, different sized columns in your CSS. So let's go ahead and add some uh, special selector here that's going to select all of these column type classes. So you add square brackets, and then you type in class, asterisk, equals, col. And this means any element with a class that contains col in it uh, is going to uh, be affected with this. So um, I'm going to give it a border just so we can see them. And then we're going to say width 100% by default. And then we're also going to say um, box sizing border box. Um, that means that the border is going to be included in this 100%. Otherwise, it's going to, it would be like 100% plus a pixel. So that's what this, this line does here. Um, and let's go ahead and hit run and see what that does. Cool. So now we have our columns going on. We're going to add a little bit of padding. We'll just say uh, 1 EM. Now you can see our text a little bit better. Great. OK, so um, we only want the column width to be 100% when our screens are small. So when our screens are big, we're going to actually want them to be columns. You know, So we're going to add what's called a media query. You do at media, we'll say screen, and um, min width 
600 pixels. So for screens bigger than 600 pixels, we're going to have our um, equidistant columns be flex 1. And then we're going to have column 1 be width 12.5%. Call to be with 25%. And we're going to copy and paste this and then just change the values along the way. Um, I'm even going to put these all on one line so you can see it better. Um, this is not something you typically do style wise. But in this case, I think it's okay since all of these classes are very closely related to one another. Let's just go ahead and get rid of these. Okay, and then we'll change three, four, five, six, seven. Need one more to have eight. Whoops. And then let's change the numbers here. So we have 37.5, we have 50, we have 62.5. We have 75, we have 87.5, and 100%. Okay, let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. So our column 2 and our column 6 are now arranged appropriately, and they all start stacking up on top of each other when we make our screen smaller. Very nice. So, um, remember to put a row div first and then column divs inside of that. Uh, maybe I'll do a few more examples here of rows just so we can see them. I'll even put a BR tag in between our rows so that we can see them separate from each other. And then we'll be done here. So let's do one more example. Let's say we have column 2, column 3, and then... COL. Let's see what that happens, if that breaks our code or not. Ah, yeah, so the COL just took up the remaining spot, uh, which is which would be 3, because you'd have 2 plus 3 plus 3 would get you up to 8, right? Um, so, yeah, there's an example of how to make a row column system using CSS, using display flex, and... Uh, Hopefully that works for you, and have a great day.